you know, like you see them in infomercials every single day. And I, and I watch them. I get excited about them. You know, got, it's the same formula. You got some guy, you know, I won't mention his name, but he's a new guy. There's always a new guy coming up every year. They come up and they go, and it's the same formula. So you have Joe Schmo, the new guy, good-looking guy, his good-looking wife. And they go, da-da-da-da. And then and the interview, yeah, I had nothing. And I'm now a multimillionaire flipping real estate. You know, I go, holy moly, you know. And then it's the same formula. Everybody wants to get rich quick. And thank God, you know, we've done our best at the Rich Dad Company to avoid that because there's a difference between flipping and flopping and having some hot chick and some hot young guy up there promising you can get rich quick in real estate. And it does happen, I guess, occasionally, but not for the long term because eventually your stupidity will catch you or more your vanity. Yeah, I, I can do this. You know, I'm, I, I, I've invested in a couple of properties. I have a master's degree in accounting or something. And they really are so vain. And real estate is a very sophisticated game. So our guests today are longtime friends, probably some of the oldest friends the Rich Dad Company has had. I mean, we were so desperate for publicity that I actually flew to wherever you guys were located and went on the rich, the, the real estate guys radio show and did my first infomercial or promo or PR event, you know, basically talking about rich dad, poor dad. So uh, we've been friends for years and they've now been elevated to the highest category of person at the rich dad company is what Donald Trump says, are they good people? And one of my first things I met with, when I met with Donald Trump, he was asking his friends, I said, is Robert Kiyosaki, are they good people? That's all he cares about. And he doesn't check you out beyond that. So if somebody says you're a good person, he'll check you out. But as you know, there's a lot of bad people out there. They will steal from their mother. I would, I would say for Kim and I, we've never lost money in real estate, but we have made a lot of mistakes. Yes. And our mistakes really haven't really come from our side of it necessarily. It came because we trusted people. Yeah. And every realist, I think the humility of it all, the humbleness is anybody who's successful in anything has been, you know, the scientific term for fornications. I got screwed. You know, everybody has been screwed. And when you get screwed, I tell you, it's, you know, I trusted him or her. How could they have done that to me? Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree. The only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free. Back, I'm gonna be we're talking. This is Robert Kiyosaki of the Rich Day Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. We love real estate, we've made fortunes at it, all of it. But there's a lot of bad news that went right behind of it. And again, every time I see these idiots who just jump right in and they bet all their money, you know they're gonna get hammered. And the reason I say that is we're going to talk about next, how do you know the bubble is about to burst? The end is near because we, you know, we're old enough to have seen the booms and the busts. And I think we're cruising up to one of the biggest busts in world history. So stay tuned. Once again, this is the Rich Dad Radio Show, the good news and bad news about money. Our guests are Robert Helms and Russell Gray co-host of the Real, the Real Estate Guys radio show and also their Summit at Sea Real Estate Guys cruise, which I highly recommend if you're really dedicated to learning and not flipping and <laughs> flopping all over the place. So when we come back, we'll be talking about a lot of things, but I want you guys to think of some while we're in the break. What is the biggest BS blue sky pitch you've ever seen? Because we've seen them all. These guys get up there <laughs> These guys get up there, they're generally a very attractive or good looking husband and wife and all this. And the suckers float in with checks and credit cards. It's such BS. And once again, that's Carly Simon's song, You're So Vain. And I'm talking to all you want to be real estate investors out there. I play this, this song because I meet so many people who are so vain. You know, oh, real estate, yeah, I made some money and I'm just gonna jump right in. The other guy that gets me is a person who says, you know, I say, how many, how many courses have you taken in real estate investing? They go, I have a real estate license. <laughs> well, that means you're an idiot. That's all it means to me. What does real estate license have to do with real estate investing? Zero. 
I mean, I can't believe how vain these guys are. I, you know that most real estate agents own nothing and they're giving you advice on investing. So that's why I, I'm really glad we're having this program. Our guests today are Robert Helms, Russell Gray, the Real Estate Guys radio show. Please tune into their show because they're more specifically on the professional real estate investor. But most importantly, friends, family, and business associates, especially that idiot brother-in-law of yours who thinks they're gonna jump in and invest in real estate because the market is hot, you're about to get hammered. So it's a very, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the show because it's the dark side of our business and commercial real estate funded by private equity is gonna be the biggest hit. Like Australia, I think they have 12 million cranes in the sky right now. It's crazy. You know, I'll, I walk up and down Arizona, well, look, yeah, there's cranes at, all over the place. Look at Phoenix, place. every single every single postage stamp of land is being built upon right now. And it's commercial, it's not like, not a single family, you know, a little guy building a little rental property. Right. These are very big pro projects funded by low interest rates. And I understand the game. But at the, just before the bubble bursts is when all the f fruits and fruitcakes come, the f fruit flies come flying out there. So, so what is one of the worst, you know, like 2007 was a great time because you all know it was gonna come down because everybody was into flipping real estate, right? The funniest one I saw is because I'm, you know, the real estate guys, you guys know more about real estate. Kenny knows, Kim knows more about real estate than I do. But I do know shipping. So I was down with uh, Trump this is just before the crash, and this guy's had taken an old passenger liner and condo converted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that? Wow. Wow. And I, I go up to this hot young thing, you know, nice brochure, nice hottie, you know. And I said, "Tell me about this." Oh, and she's telling me about how this condo will float through the world, and you can get on and get off, and all this stuff. And I said, "How old's the ship?" She didn't know. And I went, "My my my degree is in naval architecture." You see. A, a ship like those, you know, these big passenger liners, they should only exist for 15 years. Yeah. Useful lives are finished. So the only place that boat should have gone was not to a condo conversion. <laughs> it should have been sailed over to Taiwan and cut up for scrap to man to a new boat. But she was selling these condos and these guys were lining up to buy condos so they could float around the world. And I said, holy mackerel, you know, there's a sucker born every minute. But my thing is, is the vanity of it is that that's the vanity of it. They just think they want to get rich quick. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree, the only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free.